Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up? Imagine if I do the entire intro like this. My hand is literally shaking. <laughs> hey guys, I'm filming my room today. You know what that means. Time to clean it. Yeah! Also, I'm filming the intro like this because I don't feel like filming my face up close. I'm insecure and I know what for. So, I feel like at this point, this needs to be like a biannual thing. You guys know how much shit I get. And the last time I did my video was actually, I think at the end of last year. So it's been around six to seven months since I've last reorganized and cleaned my room. Well, I need to do it again because as you can see, it's not looking so hot. I'm not gonna do what I usually do, which is like take down all of my albums and like completely reorganize all of my albums and stuff. It's not like my entire room needs a makeover. It's just like a select couple of like shelves that I need to reorganize and like clean up because I'm running out of space. <laughs> I'll show you in a bit. I also wanna make some changes in my room in general, you know? I guess I'll just show you the before. Now, I didn't do anything to my room before I started filming. I didn't clean anything up. So you're about to see the true raw state of what my room usually looks like. Brace yourselves. This is real. This is me. This is everything I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, let the light shine. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the shelves first. So this one doesn't look too bad. I mean, 17 had their comeback and there was a lot of versions and stuff. So you can see it's a little messy and a including all the digipacks that I've gotten. And that this shelf just completely filled out. These shelves, I already didn't have enough space for like room to grow already. So when I eventually had to add my new releases here, I just stuck them in like that. Cause I was like, you know what? I'll deal with it later. This shelf, also kind of a mess because I've gotten a lot of girl group releases. It looks somewhat cohesive, but yeah. And this shelf kind of looks the same. I don't really do much to this shelf anyway, so. And then this <laughs> empty shelf, I honestly kind of like it empty because this is kind of like my second desk, basically. Since my desk is pretty small, I like to have a little more, you know, desk space. So this is basically like my second desk. Okay, everyone, let's get to reorganizing. I'm actually gonna do, I'm not gonna do this all at once, like all today, by the way. I'm pretty much just gonna do it like section by section, day by day, cause doing everything in one day. Fuck no! We'll see what clip I show first. Roll the clip. So did I film anything after that intro? You know where I am instead though. <laughs> so yeah, of course I'm back here. Why is it that every time I do something to my room, I always end up at Ikea. What more could I possibly get for my room? Well, something struck me last night. So I obviously can't buy any more shelves for my room because I literally have like zero space for more shelves. But you know what I can get instead? More shelving. Huh? You get what I mean? I don't know why I never thought of this before, but I can literally just buy like you know, the extra shelves, you know, the, the shelf part of the shelf, you can buy more of those separately and install it because usually it comes with like, I think six shelves, but you can buy more shelving so you can make more shelves, which is perfect for me because I obviously have albums of different sizes and stuff. They're all particularly like pretty small, like especially digipacks and stuff. So I can buy more shelving and install more shelves in my already existing shelves and basically take advantage of like the vertical space, you know? Cause if you guys know, I try to like stack my albums in different ways so that I can take, use up more of the vertical space instead of the horizontal space. That's why I'm here today. Am I genius or what? <laughs> Tell me why my total was $150. Oh, it's because I forgot shelf extenders existed. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's something you can install like on the top of your shelf to like extend it on the top. And if you don't know what my shelves on the top look like right now, <laughs> it's basically a mess. Like I literally installed like an extra shelf that I had, but it's just so ugly. So I just thought, you know what? Might as well extend my shelf. So I bought two of those. Yeah. All right, 
so it is kind of late in the night i was planning on doing like my shelf stuff it's literally sitting right there but since it's pretty late and kind of exhausted and i don't know i feel a little fatigued because today was just a day let me just say that almost had an anxiety attack at work because something happened to me today if you know you know I still want to get something done, so I thought I would do something a little more, I guess a little more chill. I am going to work on that shelf right there. So I do want to take care of these four shelves, but for this one, this is my Funko Pop shelf because I love collecting Funko Pops. Well, I did. I don't really collect them as much anymore because... I feel like I have way too many and like no space for them, but I mainly collect Funko Pops as you know for like my favorite films and movies and that's the same thing, TV shows. I used to have it all on display here, but honestly I don't like the look of it anymore. It is kind of intimidating, so I think my plan for this shelf is to only put a select amount of Funko Pops up there. And I do want to put all of the Funko Pops back in their boxes. Since I'm a hoarder, I obviously kept all of them. I am planning on, I think I'm going to only keep my Parks and Rec related Funko Pops up there. Because if you didn't know, Parks and Rec is actually my all-time favorite TV show. So and then put the rest in their boxes back up here. <laughs> pop shelf done it's the next day hopefully the most productive day we left off of this out of the four shelves now we're gonna focus on these three next before i get into like my k-pop albums for these other three shelves this shelf i kind of want to make into like a light stick shelf so instead of shoving everything up there i think they might look nicer over here this shelf i'm gonna keep it the same kind of like a mark dedicated shelf so keep like my mark sign things and some other mark related things I have there and this is also going to stay as like a signed album shelf but I'm definitely going to like move things around and make things a lot neater because this obviously is what is this Okay, I'm currently in a dilemma because I genuinely am not satisfied with whatever I do. I've been trying to like try different things for the past hour, I'd say, just on this section. I clearly have a lot of trinkets and I want to display them, but at the same time, I don't. I kind of like the simplicity of certain parts. I don't know. That's why you can see I put these two here, but then I decided to jam some more trinkets there, which I might get rid of. I'm just... I'm just stuck, so I'm not gonna bother with this right now. I need to move on because I don't want to waste my entire night just on this part. I'm just gonna focus on these two shelves now because I feel like I know what I'm gonna do. I have a better idea, so let me just clear my brain real quick from this fucking mess. You can see I just threw shit everywhere. <laughs> also, yeah. So this is the progress. Oh, <laughs> this is the progress so far. I mean, I guess it does look well, besides that, honestly, it looks a bit cleaner. I mean, ignore that as well. I honestly don't think I'm gonna like take out the light stick to display because I 
tested it a little and I didn't really like it. I feel like this is just good enough. I know maybe I can just display the light stick itself, but I don't know. I kind of just like the boxes there. I'm like so stuck on these two shelves, honestly, especially this one. I don't know, like I just don't, I do want to display like a lot of my stuff like this, not like facing forward, but I wouldn't really know what to do with this space. Th these are the only two things that I have so far. <laughs> Up here, I guess it's kind of okay. It does look a bit crowded, I will admit. But now I'm gonna move on to my actual K-pop shelves, which is probably what y'all are actually here for. I obviously have all of my like shelf attachments here. And then you can see I do have some more signed things. And what I'm planning on doing is using some of these signed albums as like a display like this. So I got these. Uh, these are like, it's this from Daiso. It's technically a manga display shelf or like a book display, but you can use it for signed albums. So for example, like I have this Stray Kids signed promo album. I'm going to put this on like the Stray Kids section somewhere here so I can display my signed album while not moving, putting it over there. And I could put it with a respective group. So you can see I have like Woods, uh, 17, and Mix, and Etsy. I think these are just the only signed albums I'm going to display on my actual bookshelves. <laughs> This wasn't even meant to be an entire shelf makeover like I said earlier but because I had to install the new shelves and stuff I ended up have having to rearrange pretty much everything so yay <laughs> but this is what it's looking like so far um you can see I moved EXO here because I had a ton more space this actually added so much more shelf room thankfully i put all of my magazines and like big photo books down there and you can see there's some gaps which is a good thing because obviously we need the room to grow otherwise i'll just have to mess things up again so we also have that top space which i don't know what to do exactly um i think i might put like my bigger magazines that don't fit there and i also forgot that i have my super m albums <laughs> i'll also have to organize this shelf eventually so if there's a lot of space here i might just put my super m albums here otherwise they're just gonna go up there so this is what my room is looking like so far and it's currently past midnight and i'm exhausted i feel musty i have to take a shower and the vibes are just
So, I'm finally speaking again. Yay. This is the progress so far. Everything came together. Actually, I'm very surprised because everything was so chaotic at one point. I didn't know if I was ever going to finish, but here's a little quick view before I give the official tour. But we still have one more thing to take care of, which is right there so i am dedicating this space for all of my platform and sm mini albums and it seems like sm is actually continuing with the sm minis i said before that they might stop but nope so we obviously need to take care of this area and i have the perfect solution all right so for my platform and sm mini albums my initial idea was to try and get a pegboard mainly from ikea because as you can see up here i have a pegboard i thought i would get like a small pegboard specifically for my sm minis because they do have these long hooks where i can hang the sm minis from but unfortunately for the size of the space that i wanted to put them there wasn't a pegboard small enough and also it's pretty expensive so i thought why not use <laughs> Dollar Tree things. I know, right? The Dollar Tree? What can you possibly get from there? Well, I've always seen that they've had their own version of pegboards, so you might have seen it on TikTok or something, but they do have like various sizes and stuff, but this is the Dollar Tree's version of a pegboard. So I picked up a couple after doing some measurements and stuff, and then I also picked up these pegboard hooks. Now, obviously these are definitely not as long as the ones that Ikea have, which kind of sucks, but hey, you know what? This is from the Dollar Tree, I'm not gonna complain. And it still does work for what I wanna use it for. So you can see I already opened one to test it out. So one of these small um, pegboard, this is the rectangular size, along with these hooks, here's the SM minis, you can go ahead and hang it up like this. Isn't that perfect? It literally is like the perfect size for these SM minis. Ta-da! This is genius or what? And it's affordable because it's from the Dollar Tree. I think I spent like $10 total for all of these supplies. And you can see, you can hang, well comfortably, you can hang up to three SM minis on one hook. If you really want to squeeze it, you can hang four, but it kind of sticks out a bit. But yeah, this is basically my solution to storing the SM minis because before I had it like lined up like this and it was super messy and ugly. So I'm hoping that this will work out with my setup. So I'll go ahead and set that up right now. <laughs> I just noticed that these are different sizes. This one is longer. Oh, it says large, right? Oh my God, I'm actually so stupid. <gasps> I didn't notice that they were different sizes. So I literally bought one pack of large and the rest of them are medium. God damn it. Okay, so I guess I can go back to Dollar Tree and just buy more packs of the large one later because I'll definitely need it. Okay, well now y'all can learn from my mistake and get the large one. <laughs> Why don't you just put these on first and then hang it on, on display? So this is kind of unfortunate, but this will have to be the setup for now. This was not what I was planning, 
but things happened the way I didn't think it would so this is it for now but what I'm gonna do like when I get all the right supplies is first I'm gonna buy all large hooks because I just found out that there's a different size so and then I need to buy the wall mounts which again you have to buy separately which is annoying but instead of having it lean because the weight of the SM minis would keep like bringing it forward so I'm planning on like mounting it on the wall instead so it can be all the way up here and that way there will be a little gap at the bottom and because of that gap on the bottom that's where I'm gonna put the rest of my platform albums so you can see there's obviously like other formats and I'm gonna pretty much like stack them below. This is the idea, not the final product, but just the general idea. I am just not gonna be able to finish it before this video goes up. So we'll have to leave it like this, but just use your imagination. <laughs> All right, y'all, who is ready to see the final room tour? Yeah! Are you ready, Minnie? I don't know why my dog is like very attached to me right now, so she'll be a part of this tour. Yeah! All right, ready? Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> Here it is in 0 0.5 view. Okay, so we finally finished organizing my entire room and the shelves. This is what it looks like. What do y'all think? Huh? Yes? No? Maybe so? But okay, now I will take you guys through an in depth tour of my room. So starting off in this corner right here, this is obviously my door with a collage on the back. And then this is the boring stuff. So we have like my closet, there's a woods poster that I put up there. And there's my bag collection that I've always mentioned before. I, I have an obsession with furry bags clearly. So I have all my bags hanging up there along with this mirror where I've been filming myself throughout this entire video. And then we get into the first big mama shelf. Now it's extra big mama shelf because I extended it upwards. So yeah, you can see on the top there with this shelf extender, you can obviously adjust the size of it because you know, it's just an extender. So since this shelf is the biggest size, I pretty much put like a lot of the biggest things up there, a lot of these bigger albums and photo books up there. And on the top of the shelf, I put my extra magazines and then I put the BSS special since it's a shoebox and I don't know where else to put it. I did do some adjustments off camera. So this is now the final, you know, product. You can see I really focused on keeping like the album sizes consistent. I used to previously obsess over like keeping the groups together. So I would want like 17 on all on one shelf or together, stray kids all together. But now I'm just like, okay, I don't really care about that anymore. The sizes are, you know, similar, you know, I think it looks nicer on the shelf. So that's what I aimed for this time. So you can see all the groups are like together here. It's just mixed together. So we have like stray kids, 17, NCT, T, EXO, Super M. It's like huge up there. And then it starts to get smaller and smaller. These two middle shelves are for like my more square size or smaller albums. And then we get down to like EXO. I decided to put Super M here instead. And then NCT. And then at the bottom here, I put all of my big photo books and magazines and such. So, okay. And then moving along, we get to my desk area. So you can see this is my desk. It is quite small, actually. That's why I have like my second desk over here, which is this empty shelf, because I need that extra space. You can see I have all of these letters that I have yet to open. <laughs> this is where all the filming action happens. Here is my new and improved pegboard. It has definitely gotten better since the first time I decorated it on my second channel. And then we get into this little shelving area, which I really do love. It's from Amazon. This actually has gave, given me a lot more storage on my desk because I used to just like shove things on the side, but now I have like this more vertical space and shelving. So I recommend this. Yeah, you can see I have a bunch of little like trinkets and whatever. I'm not gonna go too into detail obviously about everything, but we also have all of like my photo card holders and like ID holders and whatever. And then this is like my cabinet area. You can see this is where I keep Oh wait, my address might be showing there, so I'm not gonna pull it out, but this is where I keep all my like trade and sales supplies. This is where I used to keep all my cards for storing, but now 
I use this as like a cards I need to trade and sell. So, and then we have the two shelves up here. You can see I did quite some adjust adjustments since the last time I filmed it. So you can see up there, it's pretty much like a general mark area where I keep a lot of my mark trinkets. And then in the second shelf, I decided to put all of like my signed stuff like this, but then I put my signed Taylor Swift framed vinyl sheets just to cover it up because I feel like before when I showed everything, it looked pretty messy. So that's why I decided to use this as a cover-up. So I think it looks a lot nicer. And then I put just like random trinkets here and there, you know, like these plushies that I've gotten. And then as well as my two signed albums, this is 17 and then this is Mingi. And then just some more storage over there. And then transitioning over to here, we have the other two shelves. So you can see up there, I have all of my Parks and Rec Funko Pops. I think it looks a lot neater like that in the boxes. And then over here, I have my light sticks. I did decide to put like my mini light sticks on display like this, just to fill in the gap a little. And I also didn't know where else to put them. So I thought this is like a good compromise, you know? And then over here, we get into my two mini, I guess, baby shelves. So on this side, I have the rest of my A5 binders and my collect book. I also have this, which is my, you know, photo card uh, storing container where I keep all my photo cards I need to store my binders. You guys have seen this, obviously. And then down here, we have the rest of my big photo card binders. You can see it's pretty messy, but it works. It's a system. I definitely do want to like decorate or do something about the sides of the binder because you can see it's all different and messy. <laughs> I want it to look nice on the shelf. So one day I'll work on that. Yeah. And then on this shelf, obviously we have the rest of my albums. So this is the rest of my boy groups. Basically we have like BTS, um, and Hypen, TXT. I put my Woods album here as well, like some of my Woods albums since they were smaller. You can see I used one of the extra shelves to put it right here. The thing is though, like it didn't really fit a lot of the square albums like I anticipated. So I put a lot of like, you know, this is like the smaller size albums and like platform weavers. And then I just put like some of these albums on the side. These are like the member version things and whatever. I mean, it's better than not having a shelf there. So that's why I just, I left it there. Why not? So yeah. And then we have all of the rest of the albums. I put my Signed Woods album on display right there. On the top right here, we of course have first my platform SM mini album situation, which will be fixed later. This is not permanent. This is just what it is right now. And then we have the rest of my, like my A5 binders and these are just photo cards I haven't put in these containers yet. Yeah, and then I also decided to put the rest of my trinkets and whatever into these little shelves. So you can see we have my Sunny Angels, uh, my Tokidoki unicorn figures. I think this looks the best, you know? It keeps things on display and it's quite nice. I like it. I'm glad I settled with this. <laughs> then moving on, we have my ginormous second Super Mama shelf, which has pretty much all of my girl group albums. So again, on the top, it has to be the biggest shelf since I can't really adjust it. So I put a lot of like photo, giant photo books and like big size albums up here. And then on the top right there, I put like weird packaging albums. So you can see we have like the uh, Espa My World tabloid and like the Le Seraphim Unforgiven Weavers. Also like envelopes and like little plastic baggies because I didn't really think they fit here well. So I just put them on top right there. Then moving down, we just have, you know, again, it kind of like goes from like big to small and then back to big. <laughs> That's kind of what I went for, I guess. So you can see there's like some bigger um, photo books. I put my signed and mixed fan sign album over there. And then these are, these two are like square sized. I think I might have to move these New Jeans OMG albums like to here because there's a lot of space here and this doesn't fit like right side up. So once I need the space, I'll probably just move that down there. But for now, I like the way it looks up here. And then unfortunately, these compact albums don't fit on my other shelf. So I have to put these here for now. And then we have like boxes and like larger albums. These are more like, I guess thinner photo books and boxes. And then I have my signed Ryujin Crazy in Love album. And then these two are like small shelves as well. You can see I put like smaller rectangular-ish albums, whatever fits in these two shelves basically. Same thing here, like obviously if I need more space, I can put the birthday cake albums like behind, 
but just to fill up the space for now, I just put it like this, and then my black pink albums fit there. And then down here, we have like the rest of my bigger size albums, and also like big boxes. You can see a lot of these are pretty much like large box packaging album so this corner right here that's just my bathroom you don't need to see that and then this is my uh record area so i did make a whole video about this me setting it up on my second channel you can check that out this is a great place to put all my records because you know before if you guys remember my records used to be like here it was so messy so i'm really glad i have like its own like area for it so you can see there's my record player and all of my records um, that's my projector that I use. Ignore that. That's really ugly, I know, but yeah, I think it's really cute. If you want to see me set that up and my entire record collection that's kind of outdated now, go to my second channel. All right, and then moving over, we have my bed, obviously, and you can see I have a lot of like under bed storage things right here that I got from Ikea. Super helpful. I did put my starry daydream rug here, actually, because... Fun fact, my act, my dog actually loves it. She's not on it right now. She was earlier. Yeah, it's actually really cozy too, so. And then these two posters. These are like SM size poster frames that I got. I low-key want to upgrade my frames though because these are really cheap and you can see they're not the best quality. And then lastly, we have obviously this skinnier shelf. Now technically this size shelf does have like an extender as well but I just didn't get it because you can see I have this canopy up here, this hammock, and I know it's not the most pleasing thing to look at but I have a lot of plushies and this is the only solution because they used to all live on my bed and it used to be so messy so I have to put this here. It's I feel like the extender would be too big for it so I just didn't. Those are my big inclusion binders that I by the way, but I don't collect big inclusions anymore, so they just kind of collect dust up there. I converted the shelf to a like jewel case digipack shelf. All of my like jewel cases and digipacks and like member version square things are all going to live here as well of, as well as all of my kinos. I think this is the best compromise, honestly. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but you can see I added a lot of like these extra shelves so that this is possible. It's kind of organized by groups sort of. So you can see it's like NCT and then like boy group, 17, XO, whatever, girl groups, yada, yada. Um, it looks like this for now, but once I get more, there's actually like a lot of like space inside. So you can see for like some of these albums, I had to like double stack them. You can see there's some behind. So if I ever do need more space, I can always just push some behind. Like you can see a lot of these albums have like the same spine. So I don't need all of them showing. So I could just like push it back, you know? All right, down here we have all of my Kinos. Kinos are becoming a little more extinct. I'm pretty sure the only group that like does it that I collect is Black, Pink, and Seventeen. So this will be a slow growth. So I feel like this is good for now. And then down here, I'm zoomed in because I don't want to go to this area, but these two bottom shelves are where I put like my miscellaneous album. So you can see there's like DKZ, some solo stuff, and then like miscellaneous boy groups, soloists, OSTs, whatever, just miscellaneous albums there. Yeah, I think that is the end of the tour. Right, Minnie? Right. Alrighty, so that was the end of this video of this room reorganizing and room tour video. I'm sorry I had to like time lapse pretty much a majority of this video and not really talk throughout because like I said, I, well, I still am kind of sick. My throat is a little, <coughs> if you can hear my voice right now. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed and maybe you guys got some room inspo from this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. I guess I'll put some of my recommended songs somewhere here. Go listen to those. That's what I've been listening to. And yeah, sorry for my little hiatus as well, but I guess I'm back. And like I've mentioned a million times in this video already, I've been posting a lot of second channel content. I actually did post three videos on there recently. So check those out and my second channel for more content. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!